Hello, welcome to Science with Mithul. In this session, we are going to discuss about the structure and function of a cell. All living organisms are made up of cells. As the buildings are made up of bricks, in the same way, all living organisms are made up of cells. All the buildings are made up of bricks. Smaller bricks can be used to construct bigger buildings. In the same way, all living organisms are made up of cells. Cells are bricks for living organisms. Cell is the smallest unit of living organism. All the living organisms, either it may be an elephant or an ant, are made up of cells. Cells are also called building blocks of living organisms. Cell is discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665. He discovered the cell when he was observing a thin slice of cork with his self-made microscope. Most of the cells are transparent. Now we can define a cell in this way that a cell is the structural and functional unit of all living organisms. Shape and size of the cell. The cells are of different shapes. Cells may be elliptical, polygonal, cubical or irregular. Nerve cells have long thread-like structures which may be a meter or more in length. Microplasma is a bacterial cell that is the smallest cell. An ostrich egg is the biggest cell that we can see with a naked eye. Structure All plants and living plants and animal cells have three main parts called cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. Cytoplasm contains certain smaller parts called cell organelles. Cell wall Cell wall is the outermost covering present in lip plant cells. It is non-living and absent in animal cells. In plants, it is made up of cellulose. The functions of cell wall. It surrounds the cell membrane. It gives shape to a cell. It provides protection to cell. It gives rigidity to cell. Plasma membrane. It is the outermost layer in animal cells. In plants, it is surrounded by cell wall. It is a living structure. It is semi-permeable. That means it allows selective passage of materials through itself. That means it allows the entry and exit of some of the materials while checks the entry and exit of others. Functions of plasma membrane. It, enclosed a it encloses a new liquid substance known as protoplasm. It controls the movement in and out of the cell. It provides protection to internal cell organelles. It also provides shape and rigidity to a cell. Nucleus. It is a small spherical or oval body. It is found floating within the cytoplasm. In majority of cells, it lies in the center. It is also called controlling center of cell. It is surrounded by a double membrane having pores. Nucleolus and chromatin are present in nucleus. It is discovered by Robert Brown. Functions of nucleus. It plays an important role in cell division. It controls all the activities of cell. It contains gene, genes that help in heredity. Cytoplasm. It is a translucent jelly-like substance present inside the cell. It is a living substance. It makes structure of cell. It contains a lot of microscopic structures called cell organelles. Plastids. These are present in plant cells. Plastids are largest cell organelles. Plastids are of three types, chromoplasts, chloroplasts and leucoplasts. Plastids contain pigments. The functions of plastids are, plastids provide green color to leaves. They help in photosynthesis of green plants. They are also called kitchen of the cell, mitochondria. 
these are rod shaped structure these are present in both plant and animal cells mitochondria are the site of cellular respiration by which energy is released hence these are also called powerhouse of the cell endoplasmic reticulum these are membranous sacs found spread around a cell endoplasmic reticulum is of two types rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum these are called rough endoplasmic reticulum because they carry ribosomes on their surface smooth endoplasmic reticulum these are the endoplasmic reticulum without any ribosomes on their surface functions of endoplasmic reticulum they help in transport of materials or substances they also provide mechanical support to cytoplasm golgi bodies these are small vesicle like structures found close to nucleus in animal cells these are flattened sac like structures called dictyosomes in plant cells functions they are responsible for the formation of lysosomes lysosomes these are sac like structures containing digestive enzymes if the membrane of a lysosome burst it would digest the entire cellular structure leading to death of a cell hence these are called suicidal bags of the cell functions these help in intracellular digestion these destroy all cell organelles the, these also defend against pathogens they are also called cellular housekeepers ribosomes these are granular structures found free or attached to endoplasmic reticulum functions of ribosomes they help in the synthesis of proteins hence called protein factories of the cell vacuoles these are fluid filled membrane bound structures they are more in number and bigger in size in plant cells functions of vacuoles they act as storage house of water minerals and waste products in the cell difference between an animal and a plant cell animal cells are without cell wall while plant cells are having a cell wall plastid is absent in animal cells while these are present in plant cells animal cells are larger in size while plant cells are smaller in size lysosomes are present in animal cells while these are absent in plant cells centrosomes are also present in plant cells sorry animal cells but they are absent in plant cells vacuoles are either small or absent in plant animal cells while vacuoles are bigger in size in plant cells here is difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell prokaryotic cells are smaller in size in prokaryotic cells true nucleus is absent nuclear material is found scattered on the side in the cytoplasm membrane bound cell organelles are also absent while in eukaryotic cells these cells are bigger in size true nucleus is present and membrane bound cell organelles are also present for more updates on vi and video lessons powerpoint slides live online tutoring in science you can subscribe our channel and you can contact us through various modes displayed on this screen thank you have a nice day